In this section, we are going to talk about the planner, where you're able to schedule video posts up to two months in advance. So you can go ahead and click on the planner tab on the side, and you'll see here a calendar that for right now is populated October through November. In, in order to get posts like this on your calendar, you will do that from your catalog section. So you're able to select any video to put on your calendar. You can choose from the ones that we have created for you in any of the use cases. And you're also able to select any product from your store by typing in the search box, having meant to create videos of that product, and then sharing it to your calendar. So we'll go ahead and use a product video that is already done and ready to go and we will click on the pink button on the bottom. And you'll see here, this will take you to where you're able to manually share your video with the post now option, or you have the option to schedule this for later. So in order to put this on your calendar planner, you would just type in, well, select the account you'd like to post to, and then you can select or type your caption here and then you would simply hit schedule. You are then given a calendar where you can click on any day you'd like that for your post to post, and then you can hit done. And then you select the time that you would like your post to post. And again, you would just select the time by clicking on it here and hitting done. Next, you would select the account and type your caption. For Instagram, you guys, remember, always use your hashtags. And once you're ready with your post as you'd like it to be shown on Instagram, you would hit apply. And then we can actually head over to your planner and you'll see that that has now been scheduled. If you wanna make any changes to posts that you have scheduled previously, you can just click on it as long as it has not past the date and time, you're able to still edit it. So you can change the date, change the time, and also change the caption and simply hit apply. To add more videos to your calendar, you would just go to your catalog again, select a video, and let's collect, we'll go ahead and select Facebook page for this example. So you can select your Facebook page, again, type your caption and hit schedule. If you know that you're gonna to want to share the same video to your Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest, and you wanna use the same captions, you can simply copy it to save for later. Go ahead, schedule it as is, pick your time and dates, hit apply. And then when you click done, it's gonna take you back to the same exact menu for that same video and you would just go to your other platforms and then you can just paste your caption. This is a huge time saver and um, you know that is if you're wanting to use the same captions. If you're wanting different captions for the same video that's gonna post to Instagram, Facebook and Pinterest, by all means you can do that, um, but just an option for you. And again, if you wanna now schedule this to Pinterest, you would simply select the board that you would like to schedule it to the pin title is going to automatically pull from the product in your Shopify store. And then you would just enter your product description here, type it in. You're gonna share if you want it to link to the specific product. You also have the ability to have this pin just link to your homepage of your website. We want it to link to the product. So we'll go ahead and hit schedule and pick our date again, and we can schedule on the same day that we have other posts scheduled. Pick a time, hit done, and then just hit apply. Now we'll go ahead and head back over to the planner and see what we have here now. So as you can see, it shows you the little icon. So you know, like this is gonna be an Instagram post, here's an Instagram post in Pinterest, and then this one to Facebook. And again, you can click on any one of them, change the date and time, and you can also update the caption and then hit apply to save it. If you've changed your mind and you don't want to do this specific video post, you can always just hit the delete button and delete it. 
and you'll see this little prompt saying delete scheduled post. Click and you can see it's gone. And we're gonna go ahead and just do that for these since we didn't actually type anything on them. We don't want them to post that way. So we'll go ahead and just delete all of these and hit apply. And you can also go ahead and we'll go back to our catalog. And if you have videos that you have saved by clicking the heart button, perhaps you want to post some from your saved videos that you'd like to add to your calendar, you would just go into your save section and then again, click on the pink share button on any of these videos like the others and you'll see you have your schedule button so that you can schedule this for a post later.